We're going to show you how to put a 21 inch front wheel on a late model Harley back. Hello folks, I'm Robert with Hill Country Custom Cycles and today we're going to show you how to put a 21 inch front wheel on a late model Harley Bagger. Uh, now this applies to models 1996 all the way up to the current year model. But uh, a couple different little details but very simple to do so follow us along and we'll show you how it's done. We need to get the bike jacked up obviously, get the front wheel off the ground. We're going to take the front wheel off, uh, get the calipers out of the way. We have to remove the front fender to do a little modification. We'll show you how to do it. It's real easy and doesn't cost you anything. Uh, put the wheel on, put the calipers back on, and we're done. You know, it should take you about 30 minutes. We'll remove the caliper bolts on both sides. It is a 10 millimeter 12 point. To spread the pads apart slightly so that they go back on the new ones easier. Cover the calipers up with something. You don't have to take them all the way off, you're just going to loosen them up to get this clamp loose. Do not get the left and right axle spacers mixed up. Next, we're going to take the fender off, but first you have to knock these little tabs loose from the fender braces. Have something with a sharp tip, and you're going to get that sharp tip up in between the bolt and the fold over. Same thing for the one on top. And then do that to all four bolts. Take this fender and the little balloon washers are going to fall out. You got to squeeze it in a little bit, bring it down, and then roll it out. We've got the fender back on. I just want to show you something real quick. Um, the, the holes we drilled out to a size 3 8 drill bit, and I'm, I'm going to show you why. Um, first thing, when you take the fender off, these little aluminum washers, a lot of times they stick to the fork leg if you're lucky. Uh, a lot of times they fall out. 
but they have to go back in between the fork leg and the fender and that prevents paint damage when you tighten the fender down, especially if you have a custom painted fender. You want to make sure you have those aluminum washers there, they're super important. But we drilled the holes out. Uh, some people use brackets, but if you use a lift bracket, then your fender might hit the bottom of the triple tree over a big bump, put a little whiskey dent in your fender, you know? So we always did this, and we installed hundreds of these wheels at rallies. Um, we would drill the holes out, put the bolts back in. Uh, I'm gonna leave them kind of loose so I can show you what we're doing. But ultimately, you're gonna take the fender and just lift it that much. And that's all it takes. If you do not do this, and I repeat, if you do not do this, you're gonna get a racing stripe on the back of your fender from that tire expanding at a higher speed and it's gonna burn your paint. Guaranteed every time. I've seen it over and over again. You have to drill the holes out just so you can tilt that fender this extra little bit right there. So you wanna tilt it and then tighten all your bolts down and you're good as gold. Be sure your tire is going the right direction. There's usually an arrow on it. Make sure the arrow is going the right direction. Tighten these up evenly. I'll install the calipers. This is also a good time to change pads if you need to. and pump the front brakes up and make sure the pads are touching the rotors. All right, so there you have it. Uh, 21 inch wheel installation 101, super simple. Uh, if you got any questions, let us know. Leave us a comment. Thanks for watching.